but uh, let us see maybe this one he said to me your your book is written by a man why you follow a book written by a man that was a very smart comment his name the truth you take guidance from a book written by people to worship God how silly you all CP okay Abdul Abdul you know no I don't follow I don't want to follow I'm going to follow the Quran to receive guidance brother so I decide to do that from now on by the way your book is written by people you idiot like did your God print it in his in his in his library and he sent it down printed or people wrote it down it's not even your prophet who wrote it. According to you Muslims, your prophet did not know even how to write, how to read. In the book written by people, idiot. But I'm going to follow your advice. I like to follow your advice. And brother, because you are asking me to follow the Quran, I mean the science of the Quran. I need your help, brother. You know, maybe you can help me. I'm going to go to Amazon to do shopping and I want to buy a stick because I'm planning to die standing and I don't want the genie to notice that I am dead. So what do you think, what kind of wood I should buy? Because obviously there's a termite, and the termite, they will eat my steak. This is your Quran speaking about a prophet. His name is Solomon, Suleiman in Arabic. And he died standing for a year, brother. And because he was holding his staff, nobody noticed. For a year. I mean, the wives, they come to him, they say, honey, do you want to eat? The guy, he don't move. Nobody notices he's dead. I mean, that's normal. I mean, the guy, he is standing for a year. There's no way he's dead. He don't move. He don't sit. He don't go. He don't take a shower. He don't do poo-poo. He don't eat. He don't have sex. He's a king. He have ministers. He's an army. He have the, sir, the general want to talk to you. The general gets in and says, sir, we have soldiers in the borders from the enemies. The king can never answer. Hey, King, are you there? Ah, he's doing yoga standing. Uh -huh. So when you say to me, get the guidance from a book written. Okay, here we go. This is a book written by your God, supposedly, which is not true. Is that the guidance? That there's a guy because he's holding a stake, he did not fell down for a year, enter the termite, they ate his stake, you idiot. And guess. I am smarter than Solomon. I am going to buy a steak made from aluminium. You know, in Arabic, in the Middle East, we call them aluminium. And by the way, I saw some comments, somebody saying, Christian prince, he have difficulty to say pocket. We say book, a pocket, book, a pocket. People, don't be silly, please. This is, so the topic we are talking about, this is what you notice, the P with the B. In Arabic, we don't have P. So Pakistan is Pakistan. You don't like it, go. I mean, from all the stupid things we showed you in the video, and this is the only thing you notice. Th are you serious? Christian Prince, he say, pocket, not pocket, pocket and pocket, and po he is obviously struggling with P. Crazy people, I mean, but... Somebody told you I'm Shakespeare here, I mean, here to teach you English. What's wrong with people? Somebody told you I'm born in America who speak like American language, really sense of, I, I, half of my grammar is messed up like Muhammad. But this is what you notice from all the video. The video is full of lies of Muhammad and he is so concentrating. Look how deep he is. Pocket and that's deep. Don't get married. Don't get married. Like somebody telling you, hey, there's a volcano explosion happen. We need to run. The other person, he says, did you say explosion? 
hold on it's not explode like uh, idiot who cares about explosion or explosion the guy is saying it is a volcano we need to run but now it's time for a grammar that's deep oh boy <clears throat> Or a guy, he entered the house and he find his wife cheating with his neighbor. You are cheating with my neighbor? She said, did you say neighbor? <laughs> it's the neighbor, you idiot. So now it's not important that he is cheating. The important is that he did not say the word neighbor correctly. And then the neighbor and his wife, they start laughing. You don't dare to say the word neighbor? I'm like, are you serious? And then all the crowd who come to the house to see what's happening, why is this screaming and happening, they start saying to him, are you serious? You said to her neighbor, not neighbor? So now the topic is not the cheater and the, you know, cheating inside the house. The topic is uh, the, the grammar. Hmm. I will tell you this funny story. There is a guy, he was, he sat next to me in a coffee shop. And he's a foreigner, you know, like me, I wasn't abroad. So the guy, he told me, like he's uh, sad, supposedly, and he told me, today I found that my wife is cheating. I said, oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, man. And drama, and he started telling me, he went, he heard sound in the water in the shower, and then he saw her with someone else. I said, well, what you can do, I mean, uh, just divorce her, what you can do. I mean, she's a bad person, it's not your fault. After all this drama, and he then said to me, and this is not the first time. <laughs> I said, okay, now you deserve it for sure. And then after all the drama, repeating and giving me headache, then I found that his wife is a guy. A moment of silence needed. His wife is what? Is a guy. Anyway, Lord have mercy. So, like I said to him, well, do you have kids from her? He said, no. She cannot have kids. I said, wonderful, then divorce her. What are you waiting for? She's a bad person. I said, she cannot have kids anyway. I said, okay, it's good that she did not have kids, you know? He said, oh, he cannot have, she cannot have kids anyway. I said, why she cannot? She have, he said, no, it's a, it's, he's a guy. Okay, no comment. Anyway. <laughs> and I was concentrating with him, trying to help him, you know, like to say, okay, you know, take it easy, just go and divorce her. She is a bad person. She is not worth your sadness. You know, she did that to herself, not to you. It's her loss. Oh boy. So the truth, let me ask you, who is the one who wrote the Quran? This genius book who speak about a king, his name is Solomon. He died standing, brother. I always like to be standing. It's always hero they die standing, not sitting. What say you? Please explain Genesis 3.16. 